Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. And we start with our chief meteorologist, Dave Rexroth, for a check on this uh, frigid uh, January temperature, Dave. Monday morning was minus 7, the coldest in almost three years. We're going to go minus 2 overnight tonight, but that will be early. Wind shift a little bit, clouds start coming in. So by morning, we're closer in the rush hour at around 12, 13, 14, something like that, between 6, 8 o'clock, 15 to 9, 21 at noon. So there is a rise in temperature. But that warmer air comes into the real super cold that we've got, and that starts to cause problems later in the day. Still going to be dry at 3 o'clock, but around 4 or 5 from the west, a mixture of snow and probably some sleet, maybe some freezing rain mixed in as well, begins uh, to move into the metro. So the evening drive could get sloppier and slipperier as we get later into the evening drive. Then the evening hours will be more and more of a problem, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock or so Tuesday evening. It changes to mostly rain, especially in the metro area. And by the time we get to Tuesday night overnight, we'll go from 35 to 41 in Detroit on Wednesday. Colder up around I-69. There could be a few slippery spots Wednesday morning. And then we start dropping again. Notice there's still some snow chances here. Thursday, Friday into Saturday, and the cold is back as well. Saturday morning, we're back to the single digits above zero. All right, Dave, thanks. Getting around Metro Detroit is now a little easier. All northbound lanes of I-75 from I-696 to M-59 were closed Monday afternoon for emergency pothole repairs. MDOT says those potholes started popping up because of the freezing temps. We're told at least 20 vehicles were damaged by potholes on that highway. Crews will be back on the job Tuesday morning to block off one lane of I-75 for more patching. A video is making the rounds on Facebook showing a Kentucky Fried Chicken employee getting into a confrontation with a group of customers. Now the employee is out of a job. It happened at the restaurant on Telegraph Road and Annapolis. The man in the video tells 7 Action News the confrontation began when food was left off their order. He also says the employee was arrested for assault after he poked him in the head. We reached out to Dearborn Heights Police, but were told to call back after the holiday. We're now a month into the government shutdown and with no signs of an end in sight, families of federal workers are growing increasingly desperate. 7 Action News spoke with a family of a Port Huron Coast Guard member who says it's affecting their whole family. The father, who's a member of the Coast Guard, says he's considering taking a second job to try to cope in the interim. Those are your headlines. Remember, go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.